I am so sad. <laughs> Can't believe we're doing this. In this video, I'm finally showing you all our completed version of our Toyota renovation. I have a whole series, I'll have it linked up here, where we bought an old Toyota RV and we renovated it. And today, I'm finally bringing you the final tour. I know some of you have been begging me and waiting patiently and it's been probably almost going on half a year or more that I should have showed you the final renovation because we had it done the end of last year in 2019. I should have showed it to you back then, but somehow time got away on me. I still haven't shown it to you, so that's what this video is about. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour, and then there's a few other things we wanna talk about at the end of the video. inside of the camper now. All right, so I went and put this Not All Who Wonder Are Lost on the front. It gives a nice little homey touch. And then on the screen door here, we added a kick guard. Um, the only downside to this is it does kind of rattle when you go down the highway, which is a little bit of a pain. We might be able to fix it later. Come on inside. All right, right here we have made some shoe boxes. So when we come inside, we'll just stick our shoes in here or you can use it for other things as well. And now we have the crowning gem of this whole RV behind us. This is my husband's handiwork. We tore this whole section out. It had water damage. We redid the roof. We turned this bed, which was less than a double width-wise, and we turned it into a queen-size bed, at least width-wise. It's not quite the full length of a queen. But I doubt you'll find any other Toyota RV with a queen-size bed on the front, which is really, really nice. So how he did this, is over here he built shelves we took up unnecessary space and before there was basically nothing here so he made these really nice shelves that you can put things into we have a basket down here you can throw things in there if you want we put in a brand new max air fan which is really really awesome and so what this does you just pick this up and slide it all the way out and we have new cushions as well that we reupholstered. And then, so here we have the full queen size bed. It pulls out a little bit over the dinette, but that's perfectly fine. The dinette turns into a bed as well, and that's where our son sleeps. Uh, one thing we still would like to do, I'm not sure if we'll get time yet, is build some kind of ladder where this has a little bit more support, where it's hanging off the edge a little bit. Um, somehow, on the bottom of this, we're not sure yet. Uh, the other really nice touch that we have is um, around the corner, we have like a little shelf where you can put things into. And we also added battery powered string lights. So we have the lights on, they don't show up very well right now because it's daylight, but this is really nice to have uh, when you're camping. It actually lights up fairly well, so you don't need to run any of the other lights in here. We have a lot of little homey touches added to this. Uh, right when you come in, there's some greenery hanging. There are little hooks on the side where you can hang keys and so on. And then we have a sign up here that says Happy Campers. All right, so right here we have the dinette. And once again, we have new cushions. We reupholstered them. We redid the dinette table, although it looks like real wood. It's not. You'll see it throughout. It's like a peel and stick countertop paper that you put on top. And we used it over here on this shelf as well. Once again, as most RVs do, this turns into a bed so children can sleep here. This window is a beautiful large window right beside the dinette so it gives you an excellent view while you're eating. So under this dinette, 
there is some storage space, but this is mostly where um, you have the pump, the water pump, and different things here. And then underneath this dinette is where the freshwater tank is located. So we have lots of storage space up here. The hardware on the cabinets was replaced, these handles. I love this clock here. It just really sets things off. And moving on, we have the kitchen here to my left. Once again, we have a fair amount of storage space. Right up here, I've had added little spice rack clips where you can put spices. So we redid this whole countertop. Um, this is real wood, and we finished it out. We have a new faucet. We have a fairly nice sized counter space. There is a working stove top, three burner stove. All right, so we have uh, two drawers here as well. So right under here, we have two doors. You'll find the battery lives way down under here. This isn't a whole lot of storage space, but the whole battery system is down here. There's an on and off switch, which we'll turn on later. And this I'll probably take out. It's not staying very well, but right here is storage. And then right here, I got this nice little rack where you can put soap and whatever all other necessities you need in there. All right, so in the kitchen here, this was just another little decorative item. It's like a pocket here you can put things into. The fan works. Another upgrade that we've gotten is a new converter or inverter because before the battery wasn't charging when you plugged it in. So this is a complete new system, which was a little bit pricey but worth it, so that's brand new as of this week. We also put a new refrigerator in. Um, this particular model will operate off of electricity or propane. So that, uh, yeah, that gives you several different options to run this. So this is a brand new refrigerator. We got another drawer here. Yep. Got another drawer right there, some manuals. So I added a little fruit hammock up here. Some more decorations where you can change the lettering on that if you wish. If you want to hang something up here, here's more space to put things, which is really nice. We also replaced the floor. It's a laminated flooring. When I was renovating this, I did make a mistake and we purchased the, I don't know what it's called, but it's these really thin sheets of something. They're just, it's like a waterproof. It almost looks like PVC, but it's not. Um, we use some of it for the front of the fridge and we used it to um, glue onto the shower walls because before the shower walls, it was just like wallpaper and whatever was used before. So it wasn't really waterproof. This was waterproof. So we glued it on and I also used it in a couple other spots, like behind the kitchen here. We put it there before we put like the wallpaper on this fake tile. So what happened is I was supposed to take the glue and make sure that the entire thing was covered with glue. And I just took the, um, the gun of glue and just went up and down. And so not the entire back was covered with glue. So when it got really hot in here, it started separating from the walls and bubbling. So that really annoyed me and made me sad. Um, you have to point it out to people at least here in the kitchen. If you'll notice right here, there's like a bubble. Anyway, you'll notice that there's varying bubbles here. Um, anywhere that I used it, and especially in the shower, which I will show you guys here in a minute. I've also made homemade curtains in here with leather bindings. Um, I think it adds a really nice touch. So there's definitely a few crowning pieces of the inside of this RV. The first one being the queen size bed. I would say one of the second ones is the brand new fridge as a lot of these old RVs do not have new fridges and you know how old fridges stink and so on. So it's clean, fresh, and it works really well. A few of the other things of this RV is the bathroom in the rear and it's a full bath. It has a bathtub which is really, really nice for children. And we replaced the old commode with a new one. It's a porcelain one. And so it's not plastic where it tends to have stenches and odors. So I'll just take you on a quick tour. I'm gonna to do it by myself because it's really tight and hard to have two people in here. We have the shower curtain that says adventure is waiting. And then up here we have a curtain rod that looks like um, an old piece of pipe. And then here we have the tub and the shower. The bathtub, everything works. Um, we have a new faucet. We really cleaned this tub well and it took some of the finish off. So some of these places is a little bit rough. But once again, it's just a cosmetic thing. On the side of the bathtub here, we use peel and stick tile, which I really like. I wish I would have used this in the kitchen as well instead of the other stuff, but that could easily be done later. And then over here, of course, we have our porcelain commode. It's only been used a few times. Once again, we got a new faucet. We redid the sink. 
Under here is just some storage space for cleaning items. And then above here, I also mounted some towel racks. Really nice way to use up some space for towels. And over here, we mounted these little cup holders. They do come off. Um, and so sometimes I like to fill these up with washcloths, or toothbrushes, toothpaste, and so on. So another thing that I did here for the back wall of the bathroom I really like is I used this old wood that I had found that was kind of painted and chipped. And then I whitewashed it. So I this whole back wall is wooden all the way down to the floor. And then we have more storage down here. We have two drawers. And I really like these closets. Let's go ahead and open it up. So this is a nice full closet where you can hang shirts and dresses if need be. I wear dresses, so. And I also like, uh, we have this little wash basket where you can put clothes into. And also it has a lid, so this works as a shelf as well. This door also has a mirror, which definitely needs cleaned. So if you need to quickly comb hair or just check how you look, there's the mirror. All right, so that was a little tour of the inside of the camper. We absolutely love it has a very homey feel. You'll find very few campers like this, actually probably none. There's a queen size bed in the front, a full bath in the back, which is perfect for families with kids, has a bathtub. Another thing that I really like, one of the touches in this camper is the wood accents, wood countertops. And then on the ceiling, if you haven't noticed, um, to cover up the splices, we have what looks like um, wood lumber, but it's actually a very light, I don't even know what you call it. It's fake, it's like a foam board, but it looks like wood, so it's not so heavy for the camper to carry it all. But in the very front of the bed, we do have wood there. So yeah, that pretty much concludes the tour. If I think of anything else, I'll put it. Pretty much concludes the tour. If I think of anything else, I'll put it in the advertisement. Put it in the advertisement. In the advertisement. believe we're doing this it really really tugs because it feels like it's a part of us and our family but we've decided to sell our beloved restoration project this Toyota camper there are people coming from Ohio today to come check it out it sounds like they're very serious wanting to buy they've had quite the drive so if it sells we'll be both happy and quite sad to see it leave Happy because we do need the money. We are going to be putting a lot of money into restoring our house. It's really about time that we get that finished. We've been married going on eight years. All of that time we've lived here, we've been slowly, or I should say Nolan has been, trying to work at restoring this house. He's done an amazing job, but he works like 60 plus hour weeks. He gets up at four in the morning, sometimes three, to get off to work. And he deserves a break. He deserves to come home and relax in the evenings instead of trying to work at this place. After a while, a person can only work so much. Finally, we decided, you know what? It's time we just get someone in to do this house. We're so excited, because look at this house. This is bad. This is old lead paint. It's chipping, it's peeling. The weather's hard on the wood. Like, look at how bad that is. Anyway, so we can definitely use some of that money to put towards the house. We're probably gonna loan some money because it's gonna take a good bit to finish this old house, to have someone come in, redo some things, maybe rebuild this front porch, lay some new pavers, and I'm gonna get a new kitchen. I'm so excited! Anyway, but I poured so much love, so much time, money into this camper, but there's a few reasons why we decided to sell, besides the fact that we needed the money for some other projects here at the house. One of the reasons is this thing is pretty slow. Um, and we don't really need an RV for our type of camping. We're not planning on doing any major road trips anytime soon. After we got it, we thought, you know, it'd be nice to have an RV where everything is together so that when we go traveling, you know, the family's all together, we can kind of sit in the back. But the way this is set up, it didn't work out quite so well that way. It's kind of hard to have Xander back there in his car seat when we're driving. But the other thing is when you get to a campsite, it is kind of a pain to set up. And then suddenly you want to go do something and you don't have any wheels to take you there because this is your wheels and you already have your home set up at the campsite. And the other thing is the amount of money that it's worth that we can sell it for, it's hardly worth us hanging on to it. So we're going to sell it and we've used some of the money to buy something else that I'll show you here at the end of the video. And then the rest of the money is going to go towards other projects that we have, like I, like I told you, like the house.
I think I might cry. We sold it. They are going down to town to get a few things before they take it back to Ohio. They're planning to live in it full time. So it's gonna turn into a van life RV. Anyway, glad someone can get good use out of it. Well, we won that. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. They're gonna take it in their little doll. <laughs> there it goes. Bye. They're gonna have fun with it, buddy. We don't want it to say. It's okay. We'll take our camper and maybe some kayaks and we'll go camping. Say we put so much work into it, didn't we? Can we go look at it? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to join with Xander. There goes all our hard work. I didn't think I'd get so emotionally attached to something. But we have this <laughs> to replace with it. Okay. Huh? There you go. Okay. So we used um, part of the money that came from the RV and we put it towards um, another camper and then we were going to put the rest of the money towards the house and then lo and behold we had a dog emergency which pretty much took up all the rest of the money. But oh well, that's just life and how it all worked out. It was a big disappointment but we're still planning on working at this house. It's been started. I'm so excited to show it to you guys. But yeah, I plan to show you um, more of a tour of our new camper and I'll probably be doing some add-ons. Nothing in comparison to what we did before but just adding some fun little features here and there possibly. So that could be possibly a video for the future but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.